What's up guys? So I'm back in my shop. Um, so we're actually going to be moving out of Colorado here soon. And the transmission on our GMC went out. So therefore I had to take all of my mobile detailing stuff out of my minivan. Repurpose it as our family van. And so now I'm just working as a private detailer. But I thought I'd show you how I have it set up and how I roll it out on to the front of my house because we're not allowed to detail in the shop due to our landlord tenant agreement so I have to do it out in the street but I'll show you what I've been working with and how we've been functioning and then we'll be moving to Georgia come June and I'll give you guys an update then so right here this little cart for now this is all my exterior chemicals got some of my brushes on the side Got some tips for my pressure washer, gloves, my little blowout gun, my big wand, my wheel well wands down there. Of course, I've got my endurance tire dressing by Meguiar's. So that stuff's one of the best that I can find. It doesn't sling, especially if it's applied properly and then wiped down. Got our wheel cleaner, our spray wax, our Spot remover, iron remover, got some whole shot down there for, I use that as a pre-wash on most vehicles unless it's an off-road vehicle. Stuff like that, and then over here, we've just got our, or our hose reel for our pressure washer. Obviously, I've got some stuff that I just set up on there, like odor neutralizer. <clears throat> But we've got our three buckets to do our wash. We've got the Active 2.0 down there, which I just run directly from my house. I have an RV um, purifier, water purifier on my house. So it purifies the water, gives us less hard water spots, makes it easier to wash. Got my extension rail here. And then this is my interior cart, got the steamer, air blow out the chemicals just a couple because I don't use a lot I use mainly steam and my air tools here use some APC sometimes occasionally some interior detailer got urine remover which is good for um, mag chloride stuff like that or urine obviously odor remover I do have to invest in getting a couple more pumps my pumps went out on me. I had a co-worker break that one. The first one I had, it just crapped out on me. Down here in these bags, I've got my brushes, my curve ball and all that. And I've got like some magic erasers for rougher stuff that just needs to be taken off on dirty, dirty cars. We've got some drill brushes, my Milwaukee drills in the bag so I can hit those. We've got terry cloths for when I'm steaming. I can put one of those over it and lift up dirt out of the carpet, seats, whatnot. Ozone generator back there. Then in there, in that tub, I've got stuff to correct leather and sew seats back together, which I'm just learning how to do, so I'm not huge on that yet, but I'm getting better. Sorry, my camera keeps turning off. My bag with all my vacuum attachments, my detail brush for the floor mats. Um, I've got this Husky compressor thing. It's freaking awesome. Absolutely love this. Definitely will be getting another one of those if that ever goes out. Got my Bauer vacuum and then my heart extractor. That's actually the next thing we will be upgrading is I will be completely getting rid of that. That thing, it's, it does its job. It's okay, but it's not good by no means. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm hoping to get a Mighty or a Sandia extractor so then we can step up our extraction game. Over here, of course, I've just got all my polishers, my uh, polish compounds in the bag below. These are all my Griot's polishers in here. The G8, the G21, and whatever the rotary small polisher is. I don't know off the top of my head. 
Got all the smaller pads in there, got the bigger pads in there. We've got this, which I've got all my exterior rags. We no longer use wash mitts. We're using these super plush microfiber cloths. They work awesome. You can wash them between every detail. Keeps the car cleaner, no scratching, no marring. Just some for when I'm doing paint correction. And I got all the interior rags. Those are obviously a little more beat up. They went through a lot of nasty stuff. Window rags, an extra wheel mitt in case I need it. And then I've got some interior stuff that I need to put into those bags over there. And then of course we've just got our extension cords that we run because got to have power and then our table. So that's just a little update showing you guys how we're running our business for now until we move to Georgia. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give us a like, a comment, a subscribe, whatever really helps us grow our channel. All right, bye.